we have an unbelievable—I rebuilt the military. I rebuilt our nuclear. And in a way, I hated to redo it, but I got to realize how powerful that nuclear is, Joe. One bomb—Israel is gone, but forget. One bomb could take out the entire East Coast. It's so bad. And I watch these poor fools talking about our oceans will rise one-eighth of an inch over the next 500 years. I mean— we have people, we have countries, right now you have five countries, and don't underestimate North, North. if you take a look at North Korea, their nu- I was there, I mean, I was with Kim Jong, I had a great, rela- I got along great with him. You know the press says, he got along great. That's a good thing, it's not a bad thing, it's a great thing. Obama thought we were gonna go to war with North Korea. When I met with Obama just prior to the takeover, you know, you meet, you have, it's a sort of a ceremonial meeting. But it lasted a long time, a lot longer than it was supposed to last. I said, what's the biggest problem? He said, North Korea. By the time I finished, I was, we, we had no problem with North Korea. We were really, it was a little tough at the beginning, remember? Mm-hmm. He said, uh, I have a red button on my desk. I said, I have a red button also but mine's bigger than yours and mine works. I liked how you called him Little Rocket Man. <laughs> I said, I said, yeah, Little Rocket. I said, Little Rocket Man, you're going to burn in hell. And it was a rough, yeah. oh, so rough that people were worried. This is crazy. And then one day I got a call, sort of like a fight. I got a call. You know, you ever see why they're pounding? And then all of a sudden, but I got a call. And it was from him, meaning his people, they wanted to meet. They wouldn't meet Obama. He tried to meet. They wouldn't even talk to him about it. And I think he expected to go to war. I actually do. I believe he expected to go. And we checked their nuclear stockpile. It is substantial. I mean, it's that's. I said, do you do anything? I got to know him very well. I got to know him better than anybody, anybody. And I said, do you ever do anything else? Why don't you go take it easy and relax? Go to the beach. You have beautiful beach, nice beachfront property. You know, kiddingly. I said, you're always building nuclear. Just relax. You don't have to do it. Let's build some condos on your shoreline. They actually have gorgeous stuff. And he said, uh, I just have to do it because I need it for my safety, etc. I got to know him very well. We had no problem with him. If you have a smart problem, if you have a smart, a really the right president, a smart president, you're not going to have a problem. And I say it to people. We have a bigger problem, in my opinion, with the enemy from within. And it drives them crazy when I use that term. But we have an enemy from within. We have people that are really bad people. 